Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you an in-depth tutorial on Rust settings in 2022. Um, this is an updated video from my last one. It has a little bit more, like more features and stuff like that. So let's get right into the video, guys. So what you guys ever want to do first for the first step is go over to your Rust right here on the uh, under the All tab or your Games list and then right click it and go down to properties and you'll see this window come up and then we will go down to we'll stay in general and then you'll see lot launch options here and I will have this this is in the description guys so if you want to go down to the description and copy and paste all this stuff um, basically these are F1 console commands that the game will do as soon every time you launch it up and this one doesn't work anymore. I'm gonna remove that one actually. I realize that one was in there. But this is a custom keybind that I have. It's like an auto sprint if you press Z. And then all these other ones are not keybinds as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, these are just um, quality of life stuff and to help you play the game better. But let's get on to the next step, guys. So for the second part of this tutorial, you're going to want to launch your Rust. Once you're in the main menu, guys, um, you're going to want to go down to options and copy these settings that I have here. These are personal preference, but you don't have to copy these if you don't want to. Um, and make sure you have your max gibbs at zero because that's when someone breaks a wall, it won't show as many debris particles. So you can shoot them or and it's just better because there's not so much stuff on your screen here. But user interface this is personal preference this is how big your HUD is on your screen. And you want all this stuff on, off, this, this one off. And game tips off if you know what you're doing. Audio, the master volume, you can play with that, whatever you want. Game Turning game sounds down will make your headshots louder. Um, I usually have instruments off because they're kind of annoying. Uh, and then this is all just, I have the normal keybinds. The normal key down, keybinds are pretty good. Um, and then I usually play on borderless full screen. That's what this is right here. And I don't have my FPS limited. So it just goes up as high as it can. As you can see down here, 500, it's getting like 600 FPS in the menu. I play on 1080p because that's what I want to play on. And these right here are pretty good graphic settings. They don't look terrible, but they're, they give you pretty good performance. So you want that maxed out and then make sure you turn these off right here. Everything at zero, except your draw distance and your shader level, shader level 200. Draw distance 2500 max. And then everything else low. Grass displacement, that's a personal preference thing. If you want the grass to move when you walk over. And on plus boost is uh, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, that'll help with a uh, system latency. And down here in the mesh quality, I only have object quality all the way up. And my game still looks great, in my opinion. Um, and then image effects, these are just uh, like stuff that'll bog your game down most of the time. You can have sharpen on if you want, if you want to have like sharper images on your screen. And yeah, and these, you do not want these on. 